The race is on to find the epicenter of a gold jackpot. The weight of the equipment and snow has cracked the ice in a complete circle that's getting weaker and weaker and could collapse at any time. Look at that crack there. I'm worried there's not enough time left. The goal is to mine as fast as they can, but in these conditions, anything can happen. As the heat of summer took hold in the small town of Eastman, Georgia, a cold-blooded killer was hiding in plain sight. After Russell Miller failed to come home from his regular fishing trip, police turned their investigation to Russell's wife, Janet. I cannot think of another case where somebody fooled me as bad as she did. The consequences are deadly. It's been a busy morning in the Rocky Mountains for Dr. Jeff and his team, who are treating dozens of clients like a mama cat with five newborn kittens. All we can do at this point is do the things that we know is supportive and keep our fingers crossed. While a day in the life of one of the busiest animal clinics in America is never the same, you can always count on the care these devoted animal experts provide. Images of the red planet paint pictures of an alien, barren world. But yet, there is something about Mars that is strangely familiar. Our desire to not be alone keeps pushing us forward in the search for life. Did life ever exist on Mars? And if it did, what would that mean for us? In April 1912, Red Sox owner John Taylor got the new ballpark he wanted for his team. Because of its location in the Fens in Boston, it was named Fenway Park and it remains the oldest stadium in Major League Baseball still in use. And Fenway Park is home to a special place few people get to see, the 37-foot wall in left field known as the Green Monster. 